all about the number one at the O2 Arena on Thursday, with just one remaining place up for grabs in Group B. The man who holds the record for consecutive weeks as well, number one, Roger Federer, is already guaranteed to top the group before his final match against the US number one, Marty Fish. But the defending champion was determined to record his eighth win in a row here. The pair traded breaks early in the match, but with a 6-1 head-to-head record in his favour, Federer soon had command of the first set. And nice timing. Federer's first clean winner. And with a third break of serve, Federer looked to be on course for a flawless round-robin stage. Well, he took uh, PCH1 there, didn't he? It's uh, a nice scenic route to take along the uh, Californian coast, but uh, got there in the end, nevertheless. 15. In the second set, though, the Tour Finals debutant showed why he has posed problems for Federer in the past two meetings. Oh, yes! Giving Federer a taste of his own medicine net. But in the decider, normal service was resumed and Federer marched to his 15th consecutive win since bowing out of the US Open. Games made it. Well inside the lines, that one hit with plenty of spin, so a high percentage shot selection from Federer pays dividends. He's through as winner of this group to the knockout stages, the semi-finals on Saturday. To give credit to Marty, I, I mean the first set wasn't as one-sided as the score suggested, and the second set he played great. Uh, he really started to zone in on a many shots, and I thought he was able to keep that up in the third set. So I was happy to get the you know the crucial break early in the third, and uh, and maybe then cruise a bit more. The fifth seeds Papana and Qureshi went into their final match without a win in the doubles and in their own words played their worst match of the year against Poles Furstenberg and Matkowski. Oh, great move from Marius Furstenberg. Stuck the volley so well. The eighth seeds needed just 25 minutes to take the opening set and needed even less in the second. Lovely little dink. Not much you can do except say too good. Hoping to reach the semi finals as they did 12 months ago, they will need to wait for the result in the evening match. Gapana and Koreshi, perhaps the last couple of matches getting him down a little too much. Fristenberg and Matkowski, though, that's an excellent performance, and they have really kept alive their chances of reaching the semi finals. The tie of the session, though, will be former number one Rafa Nadal in a straight shootout for the final Group B place against top Frenchman Joe Wilfred Songa.